Hello, my name is Lizelda Lopez and I am the West Coast lead for the Latino practice. Well, let's start with some basics. Did you know that Hispanics accounted for 56% of the growth in the last decade in this country? In fact, without Hispanics, this country would have seen negative growth. Um, and you wouldn't expect that this growth to have happened in your typical places like Los Angeles, California, etc. In fact, the, the largest growth happened in the South. Yes, the South. Um, for example, South Carolina had the largest growth at 148%. The second one was in Alabama with 145%. Who were the states that grew the least? New York, 19%, and yes, California, 28%. So PR professionals should really care about this because the, the number of Hispanic households that have grown significantly over the last decade have also grown in the purchasing power. So, for example, in the last decade, the number of Hispanic households uh, making more than $100,000 a year doubled from 7% to almost 14%. So, companies that ignore this segment of the population are doing so at their own peril. Well, uh, like all other media, the Hispanic media is suffering, and there's a lot of cutbacks that are happening all over um, this country. But also recognize that Hispanic media has a lot of influence, and it's growing in influence. So for example, the most viewed news show in this country at 6 o'clock, the 6 p.m. news, is Univisions. And also, the most read paper on Thursdays in this country is La Opinión. So, of course, you, you continue to develop those relationships. And then secondarily, don't assume that because you're in a smaller market or in a market that you won't anticipate that there's a lot of Hispanics in that community, that you should ignore them. So, for example, uh, you should never ignore that in Seattle there's a very significant number of Latinos that live up there and that also watch Univision and read a number of uh, weekly papers that are uh, in circulation in that region. To engage the Hispanic media is actually very simple, and all PR professionals know how to do this work because they have done it for so long. So start with the basics. Understand what, this, uh, what these outlets can and cannot cover. Um, treat them with respect. Understand that they need to know what you are trying to get them to cover. Why? Why is it important? And also give them a couple of ideas of why you think that they should be covering your story. Um, and of course I find in the last few years that I've been doing this, that um, Hispanic media respond better if you reach to them in Spanish. Um, understand that their primary language most of the time is Spanish, so if you start with them um, pitching them in English, they might not have the time to really think about what you're trying to say. Well, in, while in Spanish it would have been an automatic recognition of what you're trying to sell to them or explain to them. So be mindful of that. If you have somebody in your staff that can speak Spanish, engage with them and help, have them help you prepare a pitch that's in that language. So PR professionals should continue to focus on traditional media but should never neglect social media. In fact, uh, it's a very little known fact that Hispanics uh, access social media at a much higher rate than the general population. I think that this is the case because they access the internet through their mobile device. Then they're trying to get around the digital divide. Um, we have talked about this for a long time, but in the, in the Hispanic community, that's no longer the case. And so they've become very adept at using their mobile devices to, in, to access the internet and so um, have learned how to navigate social network and social media very well. Um, and also as part of the social media, they all, they're also very influential bloggers out in the Hispanic community that are called mommy bloggers. And these are women that talk about products that they use for their family and they're highly influent, influential in the Hispanic community and are, are a very big target for any company that is trying to reach the Hispanic community. So the last insight I think is important for people to take away from this short conversation is that it's a, it's a 
a company's peril if they continue to neglect the Latino community. They cannot, they can no longer see reaching out to the Hispanic community as an add-on to their communication strategy. It actually should be fully integrated to their communications plan so they can reach this community as quickly as possible.